Hi, I'm Gareth Westy Runner and I'm here with Amelia Lythe. Amelia, how are you doing? Good, yeah, nervous, excited. Good trip yeah. down from Auckland today? Yeah, only a little bit of traffic, but it was good. It's good. Yeah, not too bad. Now, we first met when uh, the Whippets Running Project out in Auckland running on the waterfront. I think it's probably a couple of years ago now. Yeah. And your running really seems to have taken off in the past couple of years since you joined the club. You know, you won a half marathon down in Tauranga a little while ago. You run the half Hillary 50K uh, a couple of years, uh, I think probably 18 months ago maybe. And you ran Tarawera and came fifth at Tarawera last year. What was that experience like? That was awesome. That was probably one of my favorite days out, I'd say running and it went as well as planned better than expected so I couldn't ask more from the event and I'm, that's why I'm excited and back this year. Yeah you're back and running the 50k again yeah. and weather, weather's looking good, trails are looking nice, it should be a good day out there. Be, yeah. yeah. What sort of training have you done to get you to the, the kind of standard you've got because you, you also took silver at the Auckland Marathon last end of, end of October last year. What does your training week look like at the moment? Um, I had a few bigger weeks, higher volume, quite a bit of zone two, mm. but then some runs were a bit faster and then I usually do about two sessions a week and then another kind of hilly long run in the middle middle of the week. And yeah. 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 Do you mix any strength training or pliers or anything like that? Yeah. yeah. I do usually two to three times a week at a gym and two of those will be like lower body strength, plyo and then one other like aerobic kind of elliptical bike yeah. yeah 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 so this is your second year coming back to tarawera doing the 50k um are you doing any any of your events around new zealand this year in running um i've been looking at my calendar and i think i'll do auckland again mm -hmm. and i'm looking to do christchurch marathon actually and yeah. i'll probably i'll get another maybe another ultra near the end of the year yeah and a few half marathons it's training. That's a pretty, pretty, pretty big packed calendar. So, you know, yeah. is that normal? Do you kind of do that many races each year? Um, yeah, I usually do. Oh, I try to pick some big ones and keep it to about two or three marathons yeah. and ultras. And then the rest are kind of just through training. It might not be a peak race. It'll just be yeah. a little tune up. Yeah. yeah, and it's nice. And we, here in New Zealand, we've just got such, such great running and oh, yeah. You know, um, and especially as I know, I call myself the Westy runner, but you're, you, you live out west and you run out there as well. And we've got access to some, some fantastic trails out there. Yeah, I love it. It's so good for training. I literally go 2K and I'm in the bush. So it's so ideal for trail, trail yeah. running. So I love it. Yeah. Yeah. And there's a nice, nice little mix, mix of some flatter stuff and some steeper stuff as well, which yeah. is, which yeah. is, which is fantastic when it's not raining. Yeah. That is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now you've got a family connection to the race, haven't you? Your dad has, uh, I believe, done the 100k a couple yeah. of times. Yeah, he is. He's back this year. He's done a miler, I think, here before, but 100 this year. Oh, he's done the miler as well. I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. yeah, but a few years ago. But yeah, so he kind of got me into trail running. So yeah, I like doing it as kind of a way to bond with him. And it's, yeah, it makes it a better experience as well. Yeah, I think you're in good company there. Lucy yeah. Bartholomew you said before that that was how she got into it was yeah. through her through her dad. And did you do any other any other sports before you got into running? Yeah, I actually mainly I did quite a bit growing up, a whole lot of different ones, but previously to running I was doing football and touch and swimming, cycling, yeah, a bit of everything. A bit of everything really. It seems to be seems to be a common <laughs> theme among the people I've spoken to yeah. to over the past couple of days is is that. Um, the race tomorrow, there are some really fast women out there today, including, sorry, tomorrow, including Kate, Caitlin Fielder. Have you got a plan for your race? Um, I've got a kind of a rough plan in my head, but I feel like I'm going to see how the day goes. Um, yeah, there's some, such a quality field. Those girls, they'll be out front. And I think I'd quite like to get, hopefully, in the top five. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and that would be a good day. Yeah, and beat my time from last year is the goal so yeah yeah fantastic it's going to be a great day out on the trails i've been out and had a look at look out there and oh, been yeah. for a bit of a run it's nice they've trimmed away the the stuff it's looking really great it's and because it's we've not had any rain for a couple of weeks it's going to be dry as so 
um, we couldn't, I don't think, yeah. I couldn't. It's going to be a fantastic day. Amelia, thank you so much for, for, for taking the time to talk to me and best of luck with your race tomorrow. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>